Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm just going to do a quick recap of what we talked about in this past Wednesday's Go Live sessions. Now, for fifth grade, we read this book called Under My Hijab. Uh, it's won multiple, multiple awards. And it's, uh, it's by Hena Khan, and it's illustrated by Alia Jalil. And uh, I found this book to be very, very inspiring, especially to women. And uh, I just thought it was very empowering, and I can't wait to read it to you guys again, because I love this book. Anyways, um, I'm going to talk about this book in a little bit, and after I read it to you guys, I'll tell you, I'll tell you guys what kind of project it leads to. So anyways, let's get going. Alright, so this book is called Under My Hijab, and uh, let's get started. And let's just open it to the first page where it gets started over here. Looks nice. All right. Couple framed ideas. To my strong Muslim sisters everywhere, HK. To all my inspiring women in my life, most importantly, my mom, AJ. Initials. All right, let's get, uh, let's get this uh, party started. All right, let's get going. Grandma peeks into the oven as a brown loaf of bread starts to rise. Her hijab is carefully folded like the crusts on my favorite pies. When she's at home in her kitchen, Grandma fixes her hair in a bun. We mix it up some chocolate. All right. We mix up some chocolate cookies and share a sweet treat when they are done. Mama makes jokes with her patient as he, she peers in his ears and his throat. Her bright pink hijab looks so cheerful, tucked into her tidy white coat. At home, Mama lets her long hair down as she rolls up the sleeves on her shirt. We laugh while we plant pretty flowers and make a big mess with the dirt. Auntie works hard in her studio. She's always dressed funky and cool. Her silky hijab towers up high, pinned with a handmade jewel. That's a really cool art room. I help hang my very own painting on the wall of her colorful home. Auntie's hair is streaked pink and purple, a fine work of art she can comb. Jenna's, Jenna's our fearless troop leader. She makes us the gooeyest of s'mores. Her hijab is topped with a sun hat whenever we hike the outdoors. When dark falls, we huddle together and share spooky stories all night. Jenna's hair glows as she whispers. I shiver and hold her arm tight. My sister Zaina in high school wears something stylish each day. She puts on a fashionable outfit and wraps her hijab a cute way. Zaina ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her look. Sorry, let me read that again. Zaina ties up her hair in the evening when she takes a short break from her book. Then when she... Oh, sorry. Then we dig through the clothes in her closet to find her tomorrow's fresh look. Iman tries to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab spray. Uh, uh, why can't I talk tonight? <laughs> Iman tries to earn her first black belt. A sporty hijab frames her face. When she cracks a board into pieces, I'm amazed her hijab stays in place. At my house, we dance to some music. I teach Iman moves that I know. My cousin's curls bounce, sorry. My cousin's curls bounce, jump, and tumble as we put on our own private show. Whew. These wonderful girls and smart women inspire me with all that they do. 
I can wear my hijab like each of them or try something totally new. Under my hijab, in a headband or a clip with butterfly wings, my hair shines bright like my future. I can't wait to see what it brings. And then in the back about the hijab. Anyways, um, I really like this book because there's so many people of different cultures in our school. Uh, different uh, variations, different people from all over the world. Uh, my, me, myself, I'm Filipino, so I definitely have my own customs as well. But um, what I want to do is segue to what art lesson I want to promote, and that's self-portraits. It's basically the art of drawing yourself. We've been doing this since kindergarten, and uh, now, we're that, now we are at an older grade. Um, I thought this book would be appropriate and uh, mature enough to understand that uh, we are all different walks of life and we all look different. So of course, hijab is a different look. So what I want you guys to do is that if you guys have a sidewalk chalk, we have an activity for K through five that we've been doing this week of just trying to be a community and try to decorate our community with chalk. Sorry, that doesn't sound right. Let me try again. Um, so what I've been trying to do is getting everyone outside and draw with chalk outdoors and uh, what I want you to do is, oh, sorry and what I want you guys to do is draw a self-portrait of either yourself or someone that inspires you on the driveway or on the sidewalk and if you can that'd be great if you can't not a big deal uh, if you want to participate but you don't have the supplies um, you can also do um, something on a piece of paper and then just tape it onto a visible window and that'd be great as well so anyways um, I hope you guys enjoy this activity for the week and um, I, I just really like this book so anyways I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.